Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Leadfoot Productions. I'm Damian Coleman. Not a safe space. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Before we get into anything, uh, if you like my videos and you like what you hear um, and you enjoy this show, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications of upcoming shows. This is one of my many shows here on Leadfoot Productions. It's entitled... Limping Ain't Easy. This series, uh, we'll be talking about uh, medical conditions. The purpose for the series Limping Ain't Easy is to help anybody out there with disabilities, medical conditions, all sorts of things that involve daily life. Um, how they are, what they are, and what it's like living with them. Uh, I, for one, have a medical condition called spina bifida, but we'll get into that in a minute. I want to give fair warning though. I'm going to be showing some images and diagrams throughout this series. Not really graphic, but gore. To help better understand what the conditions I will be speaking about are. Amputations. First things first, I am not a medical doctor at all nor am i employed in the medical field whatsoever i do not have a medical degree i've never read gray's anatomy although i've tried once i've watched it didn't work for me a lot of big words chapter one section one the appendectomy of the aardvark in its swollen symptoms range from two to four on the uh wilkes scale when it comes to the tissue handled by the uh, silky fluid uh, which takes the membrane of the molecules, sending it directly to the cells and fortitude uh, with the brain and the cortex of the abdulla abnangala when it comes to the regeneration of tissue. Chapter 1078. We're learning about the Zing Ang theory in which tissues and cells become united as one in the uh, doula again. If you refer to chapter 104, you will see that their brain stem, uh, which is perpendicular to the uh, bowel structure of the bone hairs. I do, however, have a medical condition known as spina bifida myelomeningocele. Did I say that right? Which will be one of my main topics here on the Limpid and Easy series. Spina bifida is two words. Spina bifida. Not to be confused with spinal. A lot of people get this confused. The mispronunciation of it, they get confused by it. Spina, not spinal. As some people tend to get this confused because of a lot of conditions dealing with the spine start with spinal. Like spinal stenosis, for example. Being that I've had spina bifida since birth, as all spina bifida patients do, I'm pretty familiar with this condition, living with it, the effects of this condition, and many issues that comes with having spina bifida. Again, my goal here on the series Limpid and Easy is to help anybody that suffers from this condition or some of the conditions that we'll be talking about on the show. Growing up, me and my mother didn't have sources like this, so we were kind of in the dark about a lot of it. Once the internet came by, we started to research more and more about it. But until then, my doctor, Dr. Michael Egnor of Stony Brook University Hospital in, in Stony Brook, New York, was all we had to rely on for information. Dr. Egnor has been my surgeon since I was about 10 years old, and he's still my surgeon at 36 years old. I like to give people a peace of mind, hope, something. Whoever watches this, the viewer, you, could be young, could be old, could know a lot about spina bifida or not much about spina bifida and the conditions that come along with spina bifida. So here on this channel, I really enjoy and I want to be able to help people understand just a little bit more and see how it's like living daily life with spina bifida. Also on this channel, I'm going to dive a little bit further episodes into bullying. Being bullied myself as a child, it was really hard to find someone to go to. It was very difficult for me to cope with all of that and to deal with that. Nowadays, again, 2019, kids aren't just bullied at school. It occurs on the internet, 
through social media and other platforms. So there's no running from it, it's always there. I see people being bullied continuously, and it saddens me, it really does, because I know how they feel, but I couldn't imagine dealing with it after school and when you're home, as well as being in school, because I only had to deal with it while being in school, or if I decided to go out and met said bullies. This video is just a preview of what's to come on the series Limp It Ain't Easy. Certain medical conditions that I'll be talking about that come along with spina bifida are tethered cord syndrome, hydrocephalus, Chiari malformation, incontinence, catheterization, osteomyelitis, which is a bone infection, treatments for all of the above. Plus, we're going to have many guests on the show living with disabilities, and that way they can be able to talk to you and give me knowledge as well as yourself about their condition. In the future shows, I'm going to have people that I know, friends, family on the show, so they can also tell you what it's like living with somebody with disabilities. So, if you're interested in watching and learning about these topics, please like, share, subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell, and please tell everybody or anybody that you know who's interested in these types of videos, please follow me on Twitter at LeadFootStream, and let me know what you think. If you have any ideas or any topics that you would like to talk or learn about, please feel free to leave comments below. I thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next week's Limpidane Easy Episode 2.